Hey, what's up guys? It's Mo the Dog Trainer. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about dog parks <clears throat> and uh, certain things that I don't recommend or don't like, not because, um, you know, it's a dog park, but uh, if you see um, most people that bring their dogs to the dog park, they, they come, they bring their dogs and they do not pay attention to their dogs right they they uh, bring the dogs in uh, and they just let them loose they let them run uh, although there's nothing wrong with that when you're bring your dog to the dog park and you're letting them run loose but the thing about it is that you got to watch your dog especially if it's the first time that your dog comes to the park right he's he never met another dog you come let them loose in the park and then here comes that dog that bullies the other dogs right and starts bullying your dog now your dog becomes a little fearful because he's being bullied and what most dog owners are doing they're either chatting or on their phones right they're not paying attention to their dogs the dog is getting bullied and they're not paying attention to what's going on to the dog so the dog is becoming uh, fearful of uh, other dogs because the owner's not paying attention. They're not interrupting these behaviors that the other dogs are doing to your, to you know, to your. It could be your dog, to my dog. Um, so one of the things, there's a couple things that I don't like about dog parks. Dog parks are cool if you have uh, responsible dog owners, right? That they're going to watch their dogs and that they're going to supervise the dog's behavior. So the one thing that I, that, that I don't like is people are not paying attention to their dogs, right? The dogs are being bullied and the owners are not paying attention. They're on their phones. They're talking to other people. Two, you, there's, there's fleas, right? Most people don't treat their dogs for, for fleas. So now you're bringing fleas home. Now your dog is getting fleas. Um, and then three, it could be um, that, oh, sorry, I'm blocking the camera here. Um, three, it could be that some of these dogs may not be vaccinated, right? Um, I'm not like all vaccination guy, but I, I do require dogs to have certain types of vaccinations. Um, so there's some dogs that might not be vaccinated. Some of the dogs could be sick. They might get your dog sick. So those are the few things that I don't like about dog parks. Unresponsive uh, dog owners, they're on their phones, they're not paying attention to what their dog's doing, the dog's getting bullied, and then they come home and now their dogs are reacting to other dogs because they're, they got bullied at the park, right? It's like kids being bullied. Um, if you don't stop, uh, you, know, you know, you don't interrupt that behavior, your dog is gonna become fearful. You might not see it right away, but you'll eventually see that the dog is becoming uh, reactive to other dogs, starts barking at other dogs, depending on their size. So if you're gonna take your dog to the park, make sure that you're supervising your dog and that you're putting your dog um, with the same size or the same age. Well, not the same age, because some dogs could be bigger and some could be smaller dogs, but you wanna make sure that you put your dogs with, with dogs that are either their size or you know they're they're gentle you know they're not always bullying your dog dogs should should be playing back and forth right uh, uh they'll they'll uh they'll play with each other though the one dog chases the other dog and then and then the other dog chases the other dog again so it's back and forth if you see that your dog is being chased all the time then you gotta interrupt it right your dog should be chasing and he should be getting chased vice versa your dog sh or the other dog should not only should not be the only dog getting chased all the time. Should be back and forth, um, 
look for signals like um like uh play bows like the dog will bow to tell the other dog that he's just playing right so keep that in mind and this will prevent your dog from being reactive to other dogs in the dog park and in other areas all right thank you for watching talk to you guys later